So we're here in the Thessaloniki at the Nanotechnology Conference. And hi, so who are you? Uh, hi, I'm Ariana Fuga from EDP Sciences. I'm a senior publishing editor. The company EDP Sciences is uh, an international publisher of uh, academic journals, uh, proceedings, and books based in France. So for example, this one is the Applied Physics, is every month? Uh, this one is, yes, is every month. It's the journal, uh, it's the European uh, Physical Journal Appl Applied Physics. So uh, who are the researchers that, that get published here? Well, researchers are from all the world. Uh, first of all, there are uh, physicists in applied physics. And we have uh, in the scope, uh, for example, phys physicists uh, working on semiconductors and devices, physics of organic mat materials and devices, thin films, photonics, and so on. Everything. And so, and so uh, what are, how do you choose what gets published? Well, the, uh, these journals, as well as the ad, all our journals, are peer-reviewed. So. Uh, articles are submitted usually in the journal and then they uh, get peer-reviewed. An editorial board uh, is uh, g uh, going to, to, f to find re uh, referees, people who will review the, the articles and after acceptance articles are published. It's the classical way of publishing scholarly. Articles. The classical way, is it that every university does this? But you're a private company, right? We are a private comp company. Uh, we belong to uh, Learn Societies. Belong to who? To Learn Societies. And it's a French company? Or no? It, it, the, the, the company is uh, international. It's uh, uh, based in France. We have a very interesting history. Uh, next year, the company will have uh, will, uh, a century. And it was uh, first the first stakeholders were a very known scientist, there's Marie Curie, Louis de Broglie, and other uh, distinguished scientists. So Marie Curie is one of the founders? One of the stake first stakeholders, yes. And um, the journal, uh, the, the, the company was uh, at the beginning uh, founded uh, in order to make the, the merging of two journals, the Journal de Physique and the Radio. At the, at the time, they wanted to merge the two. Radio? The radium. Radium. Yes. And uh, here you're talking about some other things. Is this every six months, or when is this one uh, this, this This one is uh, bi-monthly. Bi twice a month? Uh, twice, uh, one, once every two in months. Every two months, yes. This is a journal that one of uh, the very few journals that have, uh, for example, uh, not only English, but also French language in the articles. Same no, ah, it's a mix. In the same. It, yes, it's a, it's a mix. Nice. It's good for me because I'm, I can understand both, right? Some people understand both. Yeah, and uh, this is this is a journal that uh, uh, publishes articles in materials uh, sciences and in the use uh, of the ma of materials. And what do you talk about here? Well, I've brought here uh, many of our uh, sample of journals. Uh, that we publish in open access. CDP Sciences is, is an editor that is very strongly involved in the open access movement. For example, I take this journal, EPG Applied Metamaterials, European Physical Journal Applied Metamaterials, is a journal in open access. Uh, this is the editor-in-chief and uh, the journal uh, publishes work on uh, on Met metamaterials. Uh, the peer reviewing is done as for the other journals in which are not in open access and for this year still we uh, have a, a model, an economic model for this journal uh, where uh, we, that we uh, call Liberty APCs, Liberty uh, Article Processing Charges. Um, this means that authors can pay uh, if they have uh, um, if they have funding can pay for this journal, but they if they don't have, they cannot can they don't have not, to don't they don't have to. It's voluntary contributions. Kind uh, of. Yes, for some years we have some journals that we have in this model. 
And this is also another one? Yes, this also is uh, uh, in this model and this uh, is, uh, publishes articles on manufacturing. I'll show you the editor-in-chief. And so what's the big uh, move to do this open access? He says right here, open access. Does that mean um, uh, because those, those um, in general, the, the journals have not been free access or well, have not uh, been open for everybody to access? Or what's no, the problem? No, usually the journals we are under subscription. And now we know that uh, the, the movement in Europe, at least in Europe, is uh, to, to, to uh, go uh, towards the open science, so uh, publishing uh, research for every, uh, which will be uh, uh, available for everybody. Worldwide, so, for free. So, uh, worldwide, but this has a cost. Uh, yeah. The publishing has a cost. So. Uh, this research also, uh, these models needs to be funded. Uh, for the moment, we try to op to launch uh, this kind of, of journals. EDP Sciences already has made uh, an, uh, an agreement with uh, the, uh, the French biggest uh, uh, consortium, uh, Coupera, for the f French uh, institutions, authors coming from the institutions that have joined the agreement can pay can publish without paying anything in open access in our journals uh, and we try to make the, uh, this kind of agreements with other uh, countries as well what is this for open uh, for open oh this is a very our very new project is this is a mega journal um, that is uh, in open access it's new, newly launched and uh, this journal uh, is really compliant with uh, the open science. It is based in open access, open data, open code, and open peer review. We just begin uh, to apply the open peer review in this journal. That How does means, it work, open peer review? That means that we first, uh, in the first stage, will publish the reviews of the articles with uh, surely with a confirmation of authors with the permission of authors and peer reviewers and it will uh, begin just in the uh, a few coming month, months so um, EDP, EDP sciences have been uh, involved in the last century of uh, scientific innovations in a big way Yes, sure. We we try to to uh, apply the new uh, innovation all innovations also in the in publishing in publishing industry, and these are the applying peer review, open access, and open peer review. And what is a web of conferences? And this is uh, our platform to to publish uh, open uh, in open access pro uh, conference proceedings. Proceedings are published uh, in uh, journals of proceedings. And uh, these journals uh, are one, for example, in one conference is one volume of the journal, and, and the journals are index, indexed in the basis of proceedings. And um, so people can just go online and see the whole conference? Uh, yes, sure. Video? Yeah, uh, yes, also video can, uh, we don't, for, for the moment, I don't know if we have uh, too many. Can you just use YouTube radio, maybe? But it is, it is maybe possible. YouTube links or something. Uh, this could be a, a good yeah. idea to, for, for next stage. For, for the moment, we uh, can have uh, supplementary ma material online, video uh, as well. All right. And here's some more information about that. Uh, what else are you doing? Many things? We, we do also books. We do some books, maybe about uh, 50, 70 books for, uh, per year. Mostly books in uh, French, but also some on, in English. And we begin also to publish books in open access in our pl platform and index books. Uh, that are Is the EU uh, funding this, pushing for open access? Is the EU promoting it? Uh... EU wants uh, is uh, uh, trying to uh, to make this uh, this uh, uh, kind of publishing and open science in general. Uh, a reality in, in all countries, but uh, it, it can help time. to speed up 
uh, science if this yeah, becomes a yes, new standard, yes, right? Yes. Then uh, there will be this no. This is the position of Europe. Yes. There will be no barriers. It will just be quick innovation, yes. right? And uh, how is uh, French science compared to English language science? How would you compare? French uh, is, the French are doing a lot? Uh, French are doing a lot, surely, but they, they communicate uh, uh, very, very, very much in English. So it's already mostly in English? There is also some French. Uh, for example, in this journal Matériaux Technique, I have still articles in, in French. All right. Okay, so, um, and here you have the nanotechnology here in, uh, in Thessaloniki. Uh, so you just continue and continue to network with all the scientists and engineers? Uh, sure. Uh, we, uh, the purpose is to, to network with science and engineers, also to participate in the conferences and, and uh, uh, try to follow uh, what is going on, what are the innovations, what are the European projects that are going on. So it's uh, it's a global uh, global uh, not only network but also following science and also inviting our authors to publish in our journals and make known our open access journals and proceedings uh, um, uh, proceedings uh, platform. Do you organize conferences or? No, we don't. You don't, but you do all the publishing around it, maybe or. Exactly. All right, for a century, which is awesome. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you.